So here's my EDC update for September. Since it's the end of the month, I thought I might as well show you some of the changes or just some of the things that I've been carrying lately that may be different from last time. So I'll go ahead with uh, what's been on my wrist. So my dad recently just, uh, he gave me his uh, Seiko. I believe this is a Seiko 5. I'm not sure which model exactly, but this is an automatic, which is really nice. And um, it, orig it originally uh, came with this leather bracelet. It'll focus there but uh, I really like leather so we uh, swapped that out for this um, leather strap I think it looks really nice it's wearing in it's gaining its own character which I think is really cool uh, yeah I don't really I mean I, I really like this watch just the only little nitpick I have is that this um, bezel I believe it's what you call it um, it moves way too easily so there's that, but it's um, I really like this watch. The hand movement is really nice. It being a Japanese movement automatic, as you can see here. Let that focus. The skeletonized backing. That is not focusing. Let me see. You can see it kind of smooths around with it, so as you move, uh, it uh, charges the movement, I believe that's what it does. Um, I'm not really uh, into the know of watches very much, but yeah, I just really like this piece and I know that it's a good watch. Look at that movement of the hand. Just compared to like the quartz movements that you get on like the fossil watches and stuff like that, this is really nice. And uh, I, after having this, it's if I get another watch, I'd never go back to a quartz movement. I just love how smoothly this hand moves. So, yeah, there's that. I really like that watch. Just goes on my left wrist. And there we have that. There we go. So there it is on my wrist. I don't have that big of a wrist. I think I'm average. So that's just how that looks. So yeah, I'll be wearing that for the rest of the bit, so I can charge it. Um. So of course the wallet is the Hellbent Holsters Combat Wallet. I'm not sure if this is one or two, but this is um, and I'm not even sure of the how many cards it holds, but yeah, it's just like, I really like this wallet, you know, you've been, you've probably seen this in my other everyday carry um, update videos, it's just been doing well for me, it's not really, it's not too special, but yeah, it just holds cards like it should, and since I only carry cards, that's, that's good enough for me, you know, it holds cards well, well enough, that they won't come out with a little bit of shaking, or any shaking at all. Yeah, so still holds fine. I've been carrying this for a long time, maybe nine months. So there's the wallet. Um, forgot to get this one ready. Sorry about that. Okay, so of course my phone, iPhone 5C, Tech 21 case. You can see it's kind of got some stuff in it from just where. So the blue iPhone 5C, and then. I got some stuff there. Uh, yeah, so, but I don't know what that's about. I'm, I'm going to take care of that later. I can't read on the screen, but here's um my wallpaper. So it's like I switched to iOS 9. So this wallpaper didn't actually come with it, but I saw this in the videos and I had to get it, so I just did a quick Google search and I got it. And uh, yeah, I really like that wallpaper. And uh, it's kind of like, I my home screen is different from that. Let me see. Don't want to show any other info. But yeah, it's, um, so, business in the front, and then party in the back, right? It's like a, it's like a mullet. Got a waifu picture. This is my uh, home screen. Just uh, 
So if I'm just checking the time or something in class, you know, just I don't show people that I'm really into nerdy stuff now. Just don't feel like I have to deal with that. But yeah, that's the phone I've been using. I use it to take pictures, and then um, I used to take a video before too um, because my dad was using this camera that I'm using right now. But yeah, here's my Instagram. Although I've kind of been having a problem with Instagram where, whoops, don't like your own pictures, that's a douchebag move. Um, yeah, when I'm like writing stuff, it's just, uh, I'm just going to write some garbledy gook here. See, um, you can't see what else is being written there. You can't see what else you're doing. So it's kind of hard when I'm putting the hashtags in the second comment block. I'll try to show you that. So if I'm doing like everyday carry. Um, pocket dump, daily carry, and then see uh, it'll just blank out and I can't see what the rest I'm typing. So if you have the same problem, let me know. And uh, if you figured out how to solve it, you should also let me know because it's kind of annoying. Um, so yeah, there's my Instagram. If you want to follow me, you want to check out my stuff. Um, yeah, hand up right there. So yeah. It's kind of like a mullet business in the front party in the back. That's kind of how my phone's theme is. There you go. And then we got... Why don't I leave my phone screen on? Just, you know, something to look at. <laughs> Sorry, this is taking way longer. I'm just uh, just rambling on about stuff. Um, so next, I'll uh, bring out my uh, hanky, because I've been carrying handkerchiefs lately just because it's really hot here just use this to wipe sweat or maybe if I have to wipe some stuff off my face this is what I use it's not really a special handkerchief this is just like one of those one dollar handkerchiefs that you get at Walmart you know it's not one of those Hanks by Hank or like those ones that are handmade this is just like Hanks by Huang or something some some Chinese dude so yeah there's that but you know just use it to wipe sweat nothing special about that and then my light that I just made a video about not too long ago my through night TIS or TIS this one's been working pretty nicely um, and then I also opted to use this um, this ring here this triangle ring and then I put a paracord liner on it it's not, there we go that's focusing just put a bullet bead just so I can keep track of it and I have extra grip when I'm turning the head then uh, on there so you get firefly mode get a uh, 10 lumen uh, low mode and then the high which is 120 lumens you can see over there so there's that and then there's also the secret strobe function so you can see that there so really handy little light I really like this great light for the price um, maybe we'll we'll pick up the Thai version in the future but not really rushing for that this is good enough for me for now if it'll focus Why aren't you focusing? Focus. But yeah, that's been working enough for me. It looks pretty cool too. So, let's put that over there. Um, for multi-tool, I have been carrying this sometimes. It's just I don't really have the pocket space for a lot of stuff these days. If you compare it to like one of my older everyday carry updates, um, you'd see that I'm carrying a lot of stuff, but these days uh, I'm just wearing joggers, so I pretty much only uh, have my front two pockets to deal with for carrying items. But I'll occasionally carry this one, um, and I won't carry a main blade, I'll just carry this one in the pocket. My uh, Victorinox Climber and Silver Tech. That's, um, just a, you already know about this, you can check, that, check out the video that I made about this one if you want to know some more about it. Just cool looking Victorinox. And uh, of course, my main blade. The, if you follow me on Instagram, you know which one this is. Uh, I recently just traded my Domino for the Sage with a guy I know from Instagram named Crispian. So, yeah. I'm glad I could trade my uh, Domino to him because he's um, somebody that I've dealt with before on Instagram. I've talked to him before, so I know that I'm not going to get screwed over. So, yeah. the I traded my Domino, which was used, had some nicks on it, 
um, still had the factory edge though and uh, I traded it for his sage which is used you know you can see kind of there's a scuff mark from the pocket clip rubbing against the blasted titanium but you know I think it's in good condition all things considering and I think it was the trade was worth it you know some people might consider this one you know it's a little plainer looking it's not it may not be as fun but for me my one number one rule for my knives that I have is that I will carry them uh, or I will use them and carry them and um, if I carry them if I carry a knife the rule for that is the knife has to be something that I'm comfortable with cutting food with because food is pretty much the one of the main things that I use my knives for just because I like to cut my the food that I have you know I don't know it's just to me it's something that's fun and you know it lets me use my knives a lot of the time and uh, so I just didn't feel like doing that with my domino I felt like it was too much of a pretty knife not it's a, I mean, you know it's a, it's not an ugly knife but I didn't really like the scale but I just I figured like if I dropped it it would scratch the carbon fiber the fake carbon fiber scale and it wouldn't look nice but if I have this titanium one you know I wouldn't feel like feel bad about nicking it or anything I wouldn't feel bad about using it pretty rough just cuz this has a very utilitarian look I'm not the type of guy that likes to just you know baby stuff I don't like having safe queens or anything like that I just like having things that I can use so and this is definitely something I can use like the day that I got it, I use this to cut up an orange you know and I wouldn't have been able to do that with my domino just because I didn't feel right yeah we have that you know feels great in the hand I'll do a separate video on this one um, just perfect size for me for EDC and I love the clip so there's the knife and then what Crispian also gave in the deal I'll just call him Chris I'll call you Chris Crispian um, what else he gave is this field notes pack so which is pretty cool. I've never had a field notes before. I have some notebooks. Uh, I think if you saw my the the one the EDC update I did before this one, I had some Fabriano pads, which I liked. It's just that the they didn't have any ruling, they didn't have any lines, so it's kind of hard to write. But this one it has um, some grids, so that's really nice. So I can write in those. And I just like the feel of it a lot more than those Fabriano pads. And yeah. So I figure I'll pick up some more of these field notes when I can, when I'm when I'm done with this one. You know, I like the color of this one. It looks really cool. It matches my um, leather, kind of. So it looks cool in the hand dumps, that, like the one that I just showed previously. So yeah, this is really cool. Use this um, just take reminders of stuff about class. You can see my shitty handwriting. Um, yeah, and right here it says... Uh, make EDC update vid on 9.30 because, you know, this is the last day of September, so that's when I should pump up my EDC update, so yeah, that's what um, I carry the field notes in my um, backpack when I'm at school but if I'm just walking around I'll put it in my back pocket and then the this knife it goes in the on my right, it's clipped to my right pocket, this bandana or this um, handkerchief is in my right back pocket this one would go where the knife would go, but just not with a clip. Um, the light is going to go in my left front pocket. Phone goes in my left front pocket. And then wallet goes with my knife, with my main, my main blade. So it's in the right front pocket. So there's my everyday carry update. Um, if you have any questions, have anything to say, just leave it in the comments below. Um, if you want to check out my Instagram, it's Hans Boyer. Hansboyer D, so I'll just show you that right now. So just search Hansboyer D, and uh, you'll find my stuff if you like my pictures. You know, you can definitely check out my stuff. Well, so uh, anyways, if you like the video, please like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace, guys.